Good day, everybody. Okay, so this is the third workout, weeks five, six, right? Five, six. And what we're doing here is working on muscular endurance a little bit more. We're gonna push the pressure up a little bit more and we're working on those major muscle groups. So the first exercise is ab knee raise. So what I want you to do on this is grab onto the front bar on the, on the propulsion side and you're gonna extend your feet up so your heels are top of the water. So you're fully extended on top of the water like that. Cross your ankles, pin your legs together, and then pull your knees up through that propulsion, that current. We're using that as resistance, okay? We've assigned 30 reps and you want to squeeze those muscles. It's not just about, you know, making something so difficult that you can only do five of them. That's not the goal here. We want you to really squeeze and really focus on flexing all those good muscles in here, okay? Next, leg swings. You want to keep your leg straight, your knee straight. You're going to swing up as high as you can to the front, as back as far as you can to the rear. 20 each leg. So if you need to, Mary's not holding on. She's stabilizing with her left foot. But if she needed to, she could simply cruise over to her left a little bit and touch that wall. And you're focusing on good, straight posture. Leg is straight. And you're stretching everything out. And it will get challenging as you get more down towards the 20 mark. Number three step downs. You should be seeing a pattern here with step downs. Okay. They are a, a crowd favorite. There's a reason we're doing them. It's really great for your lower leg health, your knee health in a way that you can't do on dry land, especially if you've got some kind of a knee issue going on. We do them at least once or twice a week, every week without fail. Okay. And as a point of interest, if you caught last week's live, you saw that the water and I said it, the water was just a touch. Looked like it was cloudy. Now you'll see that it's all fixed. No problem. Step downs, 25 each leg. Number four, kickboard or a cookie sheet. That's sort of a joke, but it would work. And flame raises for your shoulders. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold a kickboard just like this. Elbows are straight and you're pulling it, pulling it flat, catching that water and you're working all of your shoulder up front delt. And you can see from the strain on her face that this is real. The, st yep. the strain is real, okay? Front raises, very good for you. Don't pull too hard. First ones do really, really slow. Make sure you do not injure your shoulder. Nice and slow. Number five, row bar curls. As far as we're going to connect, obviously you're seeing the pattern with row bars. That's going to be, in, in, and again, I'll, I'll back up a second. We grouped these exercises together so that you're not fiddling with things every minute. That is annoying. It's annoying to us. I'm sure it's annoying to you. And we're, you know, Pretty handy with the swim spas. So even for us, switching everything around, it's just one more thing you got to do. Really focusing on making this flow well, be easy to achieve without, you know, sort of busting your chops. Okay, so row bar curls. Elbows are staying here, and you're focused on that curl. You're going to squeeze the bicep. 20 reps, and you're doing both at the same time, so it's 20 reps. Number six, row bar rows. Now, there's a reason we put the biceps first, because your biceps help when you do the row. Your biceps are already going to be tired. That's on purpose. It's because we're not really that nice. Okay. So in the gym, in the swim spa, we're harsh, and that's the way it has to be. So it's good for you. You're welcome. So now your biceps are already tired. You're going to row, and you're going to focus on squeezing. It's the same movement we did with the bands where you're focused on squeezing your shoulder blades together, but obviously it's going to feel a little different and be a little different. So we want to change it up, keep it interesting as, as well as effective. Number seven, row bar tricep press. So you're going to focus on the, the you're going to turn around where the row bars are set up and you're going to keep your elbows in and you're going to push with your triceps. Okay, so you're pushing. So when you do a chest press, which is coming up, you're, you're wide, you're wide grip. For triceps, you're here and you're pushing with your triceps and they will get tired. Next, row bar chest press. Just like I said, it's the same thing as the biceps. We're looking to make you tired ahead of time on purpose, which is just fun to do to you, okay? It just is. I will, you guys know that I came from the gym industry. This is what we do for fun. We torture people. So chest press, just like you think. Elbows are up. Triceps, they're in. Chest press, they're up. You're going to feel this in your chest and in your shoulders, where the other one you're going to feel primarily in your triceps. Last one, row bar shoulder press. You're going to lean down to work your, your shoulders, okay? So if you can see the angle on her body and then she's pressing this, the same angle 
Okay, uh, close anyway. She's she's I guess angled down that way a little bit. Shoulder presses, and I'm I sure my step up yep, on the foot. Yo, you can see it perfectly, Mayor. It looks great on the video. Thank you. So it's robot shoulder press, twenty reps, and that is the ninth exercise. We're off to the races. See you out there.